this is a voice reveal, I guess, and also, sorry that the, the, the image can't, um, be like, you just can't really read it, but it, it's better than nothing, I guess. Layer 1. YouTubers who played this game. <laughs> I don't want to do a dumbass narrator voice. Uh, wait a minute. Many YouTubers such as RT Game and Poofesher have made videos about Wii music. These videos do have funny moments, but I don't think they are very good introductions to the game. Instead, I would recommend that you play through the in-game tutorials to learn how it's done. September, yep, the song September by Earth, Wind, and Fire is in this game. You're in for one heck of a ride, son. Personally, I think this is one of the most fun songs to cover, but don't make too many covers or it will get boring. Same goes for any song, though. Handbell Harmony. In Handbell Harmony mode, the player will play a traditional rhythm game with three toots. Toots are the nutcracker-looking people in the game, and we'll talk about them quite a bit on this iceberg. Each member of the handbell crew holds two colored handbells, each of which corresponds to a specific note on the board. I haven't played this mode in years, but I remember it being decent. Not as good as Custom Jam, of course. Adam Crossing. Adam Crossing is a YouTuber who is known for making renditions of different songs, often meme songs, in different sound fonts, most notably the Wii Music sound font. He also worked on modifications for the game. If you are Adam Crossing, hello. Video game songs. In Wii Music, there are some available songs that originate from video games. F-Zero Mute City theme, Super Mario Bros. theme, Animal Crossing theme, KK Blues, Legend of Zelda theme, Wii Sports theme, and Wii Music theme. Legend of Zelda theme is also available in Me Maestro mode, a mode which you can use your Wii Remote to conduct an orchestra. Sebastian Toot. Sebastian Toot is the tutorial guide character in Wii Music. Sebastian is essentially the main character of the game, and he even appears in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as a spirit battle. Being a toot, he speaks in gibberish, which is often described as sounding like Italian or Russian. That infamous E3 presentation. At E3 2008, Nintendo tried to make a presentation of this game in which a few players tried to make a rendition of the Super Mario Bros. theme poorly. The drummer, who is surprisingly an actual drummer called DJ Ravi Drums, ended up performing with real drums at a Donald Trump festival. Anyways, this presentation was so bad that its reputation unfortunately transferred to Wii Music as a whole. In reality, you can, in fact, make good sounding renditions with this game, which is why it is currently the main focus of my YouTube channel. Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect is a mode in which the player must drag and tap Mii's to answer questions such as which two singers have the same pitch? There is a small speedrunning community for this mode since, unlike other modes, the length of each individual session depends on the player's performance rather than being predetermined. Funny Instruments Some of the instruments in this game are rather humorous or just plain weird. Specifically, I'm talking about instruments like the dog suit, the cat suit, the wrapper, the hand clap, not the instrument itself, but the fact that the hands are huge, the beatboxer, I guess, the black belt, makes karate sounds like yaw, yeah. the NES horn, again, not the instrument itself, but the design, which is sometimes described as resembling an electronic cigarette, and the cheerleader. In addition, there are also instruments called the galactic instruments, which have a platinum colored design and make synthesizer sounds. Am I the only person who liked this game? This comment shows up a lot on videos about Wii Music, since many people dislike the game. In reality, there are many people who like this game, and or like watching videos about it. A uh, different but similar comment is, am I the only person who still plays this game? Layer 2. The J. Paul Music. The J. Paul Music is a music content creator from Spain, but I'm not sure if he's from Spain. I, I think he is, but I'm too lazy to edit it. If I know he watches my videos, so if you're not from Spain, let me know. Who has uploaded many Wii Music videos, especially from 2012 to 2013. He hasn't quit the game, but he only occasionally uploads videos of it. Many of his styles are used by other Wii Music content creators, including Adam Crossing. I do not know how old he is, but I would guess around 30 or so. Toots and Wii Party and Wii Party U. In Wii Party, the host party Phil, called Whoopy in the European version, is clearly a toot and is particularly similar to Sebastian Toot, which Poofesher pointed out in one video. He has the same floppy, puppet-like head, facial features, and Italian-slash-Russian-sounding gibberish speak, and Wii Party U 
A character named Party Penny is introduced. She is clearly a toot, but her head shape is notably different. It is unclear why Nintendo decided to make these characters toots, considering the fact that the toots don't appear anywhere aside from these three games and technically Smash Ultimate. Party Phil also does not refer to himself as a toot, nor does he mention any of the other toots aside from Penny. You used to be able to share songs online. Yep, this game had online features, which is why there is a warning stating that online interactions are not rated by the ESRB. You could send songs to people and even wish them a happy birthday via a rendition of Happy Birthday. Unfortunately, in 2014, Nintendo shut down Wii Connect 24. Herman Miller. Herman Miller is an American YouTuber who used to upload a lot of Wii music videos back in the day. He was likely one of the first people to use this game's potential and was likely a source of inspiration for Jay Paul. In his video's descriptions, he often specifies what he did to make a song sound the way it sounds. He is 57 years old as of this video's release. Tutorials. This game has a lot of tutorials. There are two tutorials for each instrument in a particular style, one basic tutorial and one more advanced tutorial. In these tutorials, you are often advised to hold the A or B button to perform certain actions, and you may be asked to perform different actions depending on the type of B-bops, the little bouncing note guys, are on screen. Wait, that's kind of a grammar error. <laughs> <laughs> I just freaking. There are also drum mode tutorials. Completing the tutorials allows you to unlock stages and instruments, except for the drum mode ones. And by the way, I'm I'm. This is just one take. I'm not going to do this all over again. Rapper Tycho Castanets Maracas vocals. I also forgot the cheerleader. Some instruments in this game have vocals. Obviously, the singer, beatboxer, and rapper have vocals, but there are some less obvious examples such as saying you with the taiko, saying ole with the castanets, and yelling ah with the maracas. The vocals also change depending on the me slash toots gender. Wii Music Gone Wrong. Wii Music Gone Wrong is a video by the YouTuber All Tuned Up in which the conductor stops conducting, causing the performers to look at you, not your me, but you. What I mean is that they look directly at the screen, which is kind of creepy, this video is one of the few Wii Music related videos to break the 1 million views milestone. Unfortunately, the comments are disabled. Layer 3 Famicom Horn. In the Japanese and Korean versions, the NES horn is replaced by the Famicom Horn due to the Famicom being the original version of the console released in Japan. Not sure why the Korean version does that too, considering the fact that neither console released in South Korea possibly due to South Korea being under a military dictatorship until 1987. Maybe it's because Japan is closer to South Korea and therefore the localized version would be a variation of the Japanese one rather than the non-Japanese one. Holding up on nunchuck with violin, with the violin and the cello, if you hold up on the nunchuck, it will play a second note which is exactly the same as the normal one being played. This, the game tells you this in the Instrument Improv Controls Guide, but who actually reads those? Unfortunately, this does not work on the chord part. That might be because the chord already sounds like three notes being played at the same time. Totaka's Song. Oh boy, this is the first of the speculative entries, in which the entry is referring to something that is theoretical or possible, but not confirmed. As we descend the iceberg, some of these entries become less and less plausible, and some are also jokes. Anyways, Tataka's song is a popular easter egg in many Nintendo games in which a specific tune made by Kazumi Tataka appears once certain conditions are met. Kazumi Tataka was the director of Wii Music, so it is entirely possible that Tataka's song appears somewhere within the game. However, nothing suggesting its presence has been found as of this video's release. Secret Notes the Wii Music theme and jam mode is a bit different from the one in the menu. Most notably, the melody and harmony parts do not play their extra notes, which sounds like do 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 Yeah, you probably know that. However, a player can play these extra notes in jam mode, despite the fact that they do not appear on the note sheet. And I'll be there, there's a stream of five chord notes that appears later in the song, but it can also be played in the beginning of the song in the equivalent section, despite not appearing on the note sheet. I actually play these extra notes in the bard core version, and I think I also do a variation of them in the Yuri and Akatsuki, a Akatsuki one. Playing chords on non-chord parts. With the guitar-type instruments, if you hold C on the nunchuck on a non-chord part, 
You can play chord notes. Unfortunately, this does not work for A notes on the chord. On the actual chord part, the C button does the same thing as the A button. Unused songs and style. The, sorry, it took me a little because the um, timer on the phone is like... You blocking the text. Anyways, in the game's files, there are unused songs and styles that rhyme, such as one where Natalie plays the drums, or one which is the same as the style used in The Legend of Zelda. As for unused songs, the only two songs that aren't the same as ones that ended up in the game are Pomp and Circumstance and Let It Be. Toot's favorite colors. Some instruments, such as the handbells, maracas, and congas, base their color on the favorite color of the me using it. This also applies to Toots. Sebastian Toots' favorite color is purple. Peter Toots' favorite color is pink. I can't really tell just by looking at his maracas, but I think they're pink. Natalie Toots seems to be orange. Bob's is black. I'll put the rest in the comments because I forgot. Melody and harmony sections differences. Aside from just sounding different, the melody and harmony sections also sometimes play extra notes. The most obvious examples are Every Breath You Take, Bridal Chorus, Animal Crossing, September, and Over the Waves, but there are also some subtle examples like Troika and Sakura Sakura. YouTube Copyright Claims Unless your rendition of the song is wildly different than the original, or a certain element makes the YouTube song detection algorithm not notice the copyrighted melody, you might get a copyright claim on your video if it uses a copyrighted song like Every Breath You Take, for some reason, Minuet in G Major is copyrighted despite being made hundreds of years ago by an obscure musician named Christian Petzold. Fortunately, nobody has ever been copyright struck for this, because I highly doubt that the copywriters would actually care that someone made a Wii Music video using their song, especially since they agreed to allow Nintendo to use their song in their game in the first place. Twinkle Twinkle Salsa Version This is one of the unused songs I talked about earlier. It seems to be a salsa reggae rendition of Twinkle Twinkle, but it is actually a little bit different from the quick jam salsa genre, having two trumpets, a piano, an electric bass, maracas, and reggae drums. There's another detail about this unused song which I'll mention later on this iceberg. Miyamoto is proud of this game despite its reception. Despite the immediate negative reception upon the release of the E3 presentation, Miyamoto seems to be proud of this game, even showing it to young children around the time of its release. In my opinion, he has every right to be proud of this game, despite the poor sales or it not appealing to hardcore gamers. You don't have to be ashamed of something you made just because it wasn't as popular as Wii Sports. WarioWare Smooth Moves sold even less than Wii Music, and yet nobody refers to it as a failed game, though that might be because it wasn't presented at E3, at least not as much as Wii Music was. If you really expected a hardcore prompt-based rhythm game the likes of Rhythm Heaven or Guitar Hero upon seeing the title Wii Music, you only have yourself to blame for being disappointed. Nowadays, nobody really cares that Nintendo is trying to appeal to a casual audience, since all the hardcore gamers migrated to the computer realm. <laughs> okay. <coughs> three unnamed toots in Music Room. In the Music Room stage, there are three paintings that just pick toots who do not actually appear in the game style like 1700s portraits since they are in the room called the music room they must be very important people re major re major is a mod that allows you to add custom songs into Wii music and also comes with some texture modifications unfortunately re major does not allow you to make songs longer than the actual in-game song at least i don't think it does so I remember reading that a different Wii Music mod called Wii Music Editor Plus does allow you to do that. I might make videos using this at some point currently, but but currently I am fine with the same 47 default songs, not counting Jingle Bell Rock, Oh Christmas Tree, or Happy Birthday. Ever since I got this game in 2012, the only years I didn't play it were 2020 and 2021, so you could probably tell that I'm generally content with the same 47 songs. Chord parts in Sakura Sakura and Turkey in the Straw. The Japanese style is the only non-quick jam style that omits any non-percussion parts at all, let alone the chord in Harmon and Harmony. I don't know why this is done, but I think it might be so that the song is melodically and harmonically in the pentatonic scale, like how many Japanese folks are described as being. I say described because, like, the non-Western music doesn't really use concepts like pentatonic scale. 
the harmony parts are obviously just the same as the melody parts, except for Sakura Sakura's harmony part having an extra note. The chord part in Sakura Sakura is actually kind of a mix of the melody and bass parts, more on that later, while Turkey and the Straw one is extremely basic. Drum mode hi-hat. For whatever reason, the sound of the hi-hat on the normal drum sets is completely unavailable in drum mode, even for the rock drums. Most of the time, the hi-hat in drum mode just leads to a pick-your-poison situation. You either go with the extremely loud and long-lasting open hi-hat, or the extremely quiet and pathetic sounding closed hi-hat. This alone makes drum mode practically worthless unless you're using the jazz drums. You need to drum fast. For a song like Super Mario Bros. that doesn't let you do that in normal mode, you need on-demand snare for the galactic drums, or you just really need that extra control for a certain drumming style. Thanks for watching. <coughs> that man, my hands hurt from holding this freaking thing.